Well, we are on the doorstep of the weekend right now when you and your family might head out and do some shopping. But with inflation eating away at our dollars now more than ever, we have to be careful on impulse buying. It's even the most careful shopper and for retailers, this means big business. Now this morning, John Shumway is looking at the issue and has some solutions. So John, help us out. Well, you know what? Impulse purchases are simply things that we weren't planning on buying, but suddenly we just have to have it. And it happens a lot. An impulse buy can be big or small. Uh, candy bars uh, at the checkout counter at the store. So why do we buy things that we didn't come to the store for? Is a method of self-soothing. Uh, we are dealing with a lot. And so sometimes it just feels good to open your laptop and scroll around or stroll through a store. And we do it a lot. A one poll survey indicates we impulse spend about $280 a month, which smart shopping expert Trey Bodge says we need to rethink. So inflation is up over 7%. We really can't afford to buy things that we don't need or can't use. But the retail world is lined up against us. Just walk into a warehouse store. If you're in that store, they are very good at tempting you with end caps and big signs and free samples and discounts. Other stores will send you through the gauntlet of deals just to get to the cash register. That's when you get sucked in. It's like something that you don't think that you need, but then you need it. So you have to be really careful with those impulse buys at the cash register. And if you see something you suddenly really want. I would say to walk away, uh, give it a day or two, and then if you feel just as strongly about that item, then you can make your move and make your purchase. Step away from the M&Ms. Uh -huh. Now, that's retail shopping, and Bosch says shopping online, that's an even bigger issue. The retailers have found so many great ways to come at you and put it right there at your fingertips, and we'll talk more about that coming up. All right, you're talking about in-person shopping initially. Right. So um, I know that we have this problem, and you just mentioned the M&Ms. That's it. You're yeah. standing in the line. You have to wait in the line, and all of a sudden something catches your eye. What do you do about the kids who just have to have that one last thing? Well, Budge says, you know what? Start with the kids very young. Let them earn a little money around the house, and then make sure that they use their money to buy those impulse buys. And suddenly they start to become a little bit more discerning about what exactly they want. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, I'm totally guilty of impulse buying. Yeah, yeah we all I are, I think man. we all are. We'll stay tuned for your next report. Thank you, okay. John.